YouTube, it's me, it's Erin, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys along on another work from home, 9 to 5 work week in my life as a social media intern. If you guys are new here, I'm currently a postgrad living in New Haven, Connecticut. I recently graduated from the University of New Haven back in May. I'm currently working as a social media intern part-time, so three days a week, Wednesday through Friday, I work as a social media intern from home. And I'm really liking it so far. The last week was actually the week of Thanksgiving and so I only worked on Wednesday. You guys have already seen that vlog. If you haven't, I will link it down below for you guys. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe down below. I've talked about it in vlogs before that my schedule is a lot different than people that probably work 9 to 5 because I only have to log on at 9. It's not like I'm like commuting and putting on makeup to get on Zoom calls or anything like that. Right now I'm gonna go make some french fries coffee which is nothing new here i'm gonna make some toaster waffles today i'm just gonna throw two in and then i'll show you guys my outfit of the day and we'll just get this day started <laughs> French press Dunkin' French vanilla coffee. It's so good. I'm running out though, so I think I'm gonna have to buy like a, another one this week. And then a little two burnt toaster waffles, but this is like my best, like quick and easy breakfast. Normally I would do like syrup and then banana, but I only had two bananas left and I'm trying to make banana bread tonight. I'm gonna eat this and then get ready to work. <music> Okay, everybody so this is my outfit of the day i'm gonna have to hurry really quick because i'm gonna have to log on any second these are my blue light glasses i'll link them down below they're from amazon and then i have this dress it's really pretty i'm definitely gonna show this in an outfit of the week video soon but it's thrifted and it's so comfortable it definitely gives me like art teacher vibes but i feel like it looks pretty professional this would be good to wear to like an actual office in like the spring or summer but i'm gonna log on really quick finish my coffee while i'm like checking in with my manager and talk to you guys in a little bit once I get some work done and probably when I'm having lunch later, so. Yep. I thought while I'm waiting for my manager to send over my assignment for today that I would just like briefly give you guys a rundown of like what I do. So, well, it's like social media management and strategy intern at a small like PR marketing agency. Brands come to them to do their social media. So they'll do their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that sort of stuff and just build them a presence. And it's really cool, really fun. I can do a video all about how I got this internship. I'll link my other video down below that I did. I think it was like March of last year and I was talking about how I got my old internship. This internship, I completely got it in a different way. So if you wanna see that, definitely let me know. My first week I did an Instagram story for a client. I did an influencer marketing DM that a brand can send out to influencers to get them to collaborate with them or to kind of like bring up the idea of collaboration and then the end of my first week and Wednesday which is the one day that I worked last week I actually they gave me one of their clients and they gave me kind of their color scheme they gave me a bunch of Christmas photos and I basically just created an entire Instagram feed so I, I edited all these pictures that they gave me and then I mixed that up with including different graphics and they gave me a list of the monthly objectives that they wanted to hit so that I was covering new products I was covering sales all sorts of stuff and it was so fun i thought that it came out really good my manager just messaged me and said that i like i killed it and did a great job and it's really exciting i talked about this in my work days my life vlog that went up just before this so i can link that down below too but basically what i said at the end of that vlog is that yesterday was december 1st so today's december 2nd hi so it was the first day of the instagram feed that i created going live i basically designed the whole instagram feed and so like each post is going to go up like one a day for the next 25 days which is so cool that i can just like follow along and see my work i also said it in the last vlog but i'm not doing vlogmas this year i'm basically just going to be posting like four times a week so it's basically almost going to be vlogmas but less overkill and less stress because i'm literally in quarantine that's a message from my manager there's really no point in me just like vlogging my everyday life like when i'm doing nothing like yeah i'm at my internship and stuff like that but like 
I think it's way more fun getting to see week in my life, outfit of the week videos. Last year, today, I launched my podcast. So if you guys didn't know, I have a podcast called Love You Mean It with my roommate and best friend Meg. And it's just the best. And I got to see our Spotify unwrapped today or Spotify wrapped. Our podcast has been listened to in 49 different countries. If you guys are ever looking for a cover art or design, graphic design, any help, my roommate and co-host Meg is really good and she designed our cover art so i will link her instagram down below as well if you guys are ever looking to kind of outsource some graphics i'm gonna go answer that get some more work done i'm just having a great day feeling really productive i put my airpods in and get back to work had to cut up an apple because i'm literally already starving and it's not even 11. Hi everybody, so it's currently 1.21 and I actually am just gonna take a break right now. I'm probably not gonna take a break quite yet. I'm gonna like cut up and roast a potato. Our air fryer broke, unfortunately, so I can't do that. I'm gonna throw a potato in the oven and I'm gonna make a sandwich and it's gonna be so good. That's gonna take a little bit. So while that cooks, I'm gonna still get some work done, but I'm gonna start prepping that right now because I'm starving and I need to eat. So I'm gonna cut up a potato, season it, put it in the oven, and then we'll be making a sandwich. I also feel like I just completely contradicted myself because I feel like in all of my past videos and whatnot, I'm like, oh, you should like meal prep a breakfast or like meal prep a lunch to make it easier. And here I am air frying a whole potato and eating toaster waffles. This just goes to show you that not every single day is perfect. If you guys didn't know where I am, if you're new here, this is my living room. I live in a four bedroom apartment in New Haven, Connecticut. I only have two other roommates. So one of them is actually a living room. It's super cute. I'm hoping to do an apartment tour soon. My screen is so messy, but I just put on Brooke Michio's Vlogmas Vlog. Vlogmas Vlog, that was really redundant. And I have my sandwich, just turkey, cheese, bread, and potatoes. I'm gonna watch this 26 minute video and then I have a lot more work to do. So as you guys just saw, I just got another coffee and so I'm gonna drink that while I do the rest of my work. I have a couple of things to do. And I'll tell you guys like once my work day is done, like what work I did today, but I just did French vanilla coffee leftover from this morning with almond milk and I'm really missing my dairy-free creamer that I got from Califia. I think it's Califia Farms. It was like a dairy-free pumpkin spice creamer and I'm gonna have to go to Target probably either, I think probably early next week because I'm gonna have to grocery shop too at Trader Joe's. So stay tuned for that. Y'all freaking love my grocery haul. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, so it's currently 5 p.m. and I just logged off of work for today. And so I thought I would do the daily routine and just tell you guys what I did today. If any of you guys are working in social media or any of you guys are hoping to work in social media in the future, you can kind of see what my day-to-day -day life is like because of course this is a work week in my life and while I can't show like exact clients and things, I still wanna talk about what I'm doing. My favorite part about my job is definitely the fact that they give me like set things to do. So I'll work nine to five and they'll give me like 10 things to do and I just have to do them all in that one day today for example i didn't get around to doing one portion of it but that's okay i can do it tomorrow morning today first thing i started off with i think i already talked about it i'm not totally sure was doing two posts for a brand last week i already said that i did a social media like i did an entire instagram feed for one of their brands and it's already going live which is really exciting so i did such a good job with that brand that they want me to do it again but do like other things for them and so what i did was i did two in feed posts for them kind of encouraging mask use because obviously that's really important right now i also had to do five posts for or a division of that brand and do like in feed posts that is what i'll be doing tomorrow because i didn't get around to it today and then i also had to do a bunch of opening and closing graphics because with the holidays all of their times are changing for their stories so i had to do 
one for each of the four divisions opening like kind of just like letting everybody know that they're not going to be open christmas eve and then i also had to do new year's ones and so i have to design it to be obviously really eye-catching and really entertaining and then i also had to send it in and get revisions and all of that but that was my day for today i know for sure tomorrow i'll definitely be doing those five posts i didn't get around to today feeling happy with like what i did and i just love my internship it's just so much fun i'm really hoping that they offer me a full-time job because this is like literally my dream job and it's so much fun and i feel like i really get it and understand it and so manifesting that that i get a full-time job here in 2021 yeah so it's 5 p.m i'm watching a quick video really quick to unwind from the day and then i'm probably going to start making my banana bread then making dinner cleaning up a little bit, showering, and getting ready for the rest of the night. My roommate Meg just popped in, but she's going to a dentist appointment, so she might be in the vlog later, but also these vlogs are about me, and so if she happens to be there, I might get her, but I'm not going to go out of my way to vlog my roommates, and I know that you guys understand. I also uploaded my November outfits of the week video, so if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. It was so cute and so good. I used to do outfits of the week videos all the time, and I haven't done them in forever. I'm really excited to bring them back. I'm going to watch this video and then get to cooking. Hi everybody, so I just filmed my reel. It went in before this and I'm so excited. I hope that it comes out good. I'm, this is just so fun. I'm just having a great time editing and doing all that stuff. But now I have all of these dishes and then I'm still gonna make dinner. I think I am gonna make the vegan creamy marinara because then I can have like a little bit and then have like kind of like meal prep for tomorrow and for Friday and the weekend. So I'm really excited. Another recipe from scratch. Wow, I would do like a reel or something on this one, but I really only want to do reels if I've like made the recipe before and I haven't done this one before. So it's not tried and tested yet by me, but I'm going to make that. We'll clean my dishes and then I'm going to make that. Hi everybody, so it's currently 7.44 and I just finished eating my final consensus. Basically, it's this recipe that I found for vegan creamy marinara sauce and I was really excited to make it and it was good. I would definitely say it was like a good recipe and I enjoyed it, but it was with coconut milk and I'm not really the biggest coconut fan to begin with and it ended up being a lot more coconutty than I would have liked. I also didn't make enough sauce for a whole pound of pasta because the recipe said that you could add veggie broth or you could add like butter or you could add some other stuff to make a bigger quantity, but I did not have that. I didn't have enough sauce and so I'm definitely going to be eating it throughout the week. Like it was still really good. It just wasn't like amazing. It was definitely my fault. I would probably make it again, just like probably learn to do it right. But probably when I make it like tomorrow for lunch or whatnot, I would just heat it up with some additional pasta sauce because I do have jarred pasta sauce. I'm gonna do my dishes and then I think my roommate Meg and I are gonna watch Euphoria, the new like one episode special. Well, I think there's two episodes, but there's only one right now of like Euphoria, the Rue version. It comes out tomorrow, I think. So we're gonna watch Euphoria and we're gonna split a piece of chocolate cake. So it's gonna be a really romantic night for the two of us. Those are my plans for the rest of the night. And then hopefully I won't go to bed at two in the morning. I didn't even talk about it earlier, but I literally stayed up until like 2.30 in the morning last night. Well, because we were finishing the undoing, I've been doing that a lot and like staying up to like one, two, 2.30 and I don't really want to do that. I, I wasn't really that tired today, surprisingly, but. One, two, three. What are you doing? <laughs> Back at it again, eating banana bread every single morning and I could not be happier. Good morning, everybody. It's currently Thursday. I just got all ready for work. Obviously, you guys saw the clip of my banana bread. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit because I need to log on to work. This is a dress, obviously. It's really big and it's super comfortable. You can even see it. I, I just love wearing like mini dresses or like maxi dresses when it comes to like getting ready for work because that way I feel really put together, but I just feel so comfortable. Like it just feels like I'm wearing like a huge robe. I might look like I'm getting super dressed up just to sit around at home, but I like to get dressed up. It's something that I look forward to and it's definitely something that I missed out on when it came to quarantine when i was at my parents house like i only packed sweatpants and like leggings and stuff to be at my parents house and then when i came back to my apartment i was either working at the coffee shop where i have to wear like 
athleisure or like I wasn't working and so I had nowhere to dress up to go and I don't leave my apartment as you can see from these vlogs. I'm wearing this really pretty dress. It's like a gold color. It's from Target. It's just so comfortable. It has pockets which is great. I also have this sweater that I'll probably wear over it because it is a little cold and this is short sleeved. And then I have my blue light glasses on from Revolve some cheetah print fuzzy socks. Obviously a super professional outfit today, but I have my laptop right there and I'm going to sit down and start getting to some work and I'll probably talk to you guys in a little bit. looks so good oh my god but it's currently like 12 15 and i'm taking my lunch break it smells even better than yesterday if that's possible i just added a little bit of red sauce that i had in the pantry and like i think that's all it was missing i think it was really good but i just didn't add either enough tomato paste or maybe i should have added red sauce or like added my own tomatoes because i just did tomato paste and coconut milk i think that might be the only thing missing but I'm gonna watch like a vlogmas video or something that's my favorite part about december is that like even though i'm not doing vlogmas this year like so many people are so i constantly have content that I could be watching. I'll tell you guys later what I've been doing, but yeah, I'm having a really good day so far. I'm feeling really good. This outfit is so comfortable. Look what Meg got. How exciting. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You know that guy that does like Billy in the street or whatever? We should just do that, but with this little mic. But like, hi. I hope this sounds good. I'm gonna listen to this after, but. And I got us these little karaoke mics. Apparently they use them on TikTok. I'm not educated, but. I'm really hitting my mid-afternoon slump right now. So did my really toxic trait of making another coffee. Well, actually it's really just the leftover of my coffee from this morning, as you guys know. And I just drink it cold as if it's cold brew and it's so good. I'm gonna drink this and get back to work. I literally have like no motivation to do anything. I just like went out to get the coffee and I saw my roommate Meg and we were both saying the same thing. She's obviously not working right now, but she was like, I literally can't do anything. And I agree. Hi everybody, so it's currently 5.10. I just logged off of work, just turned in my last thing for the day, and so I thought I would talk to you guys about what I did today. I'm gonna really have to think, because I don't even remember. I think I was talking yesterday that I was doing like holiday hour graphics and like New Year's hours graphics, and then today I had to do four revisions for the New Year's one. I turned those in, and then I also had to do five posts for another brand, because basically they're just giving me like brands, giving me their Instagram, their website, and then I'm basically just like making Instagram feeds for them, so they tell me like what objectives they wanna reach and like any sales that they wanna talk about and i'm the one basically just like making the feed about that so that's fun and then she emailed me that there was another brand they didn't have as much product for kind of backed up shots and objectives and stuff so it was a little bit more casual and then i basically just had to make a post for every day from december 17th to december 31st yeah new year's eve i still have a few of them left i feel like this is the running theme of this job is that like i'll be doing a project that i don't finish so then i have to do it the next morning and then i get my next task and then that runs into the next morning like i said it's like 5 10 and i think i'm gonna go make dinner I'm gonna do a roasted potato like I did yesterday, but I'm also going to do a chicken burger, I think, on some toast. I need to drink some water too because I've only had one bottle of water today and I need to be drinking like four of them, so I need to catch up. This is literally the fattest plate of food right now and I literally have no words. Roasted an entire potato and then that's just the chili lime chicken burger from Trader Joe's. And I did a little bit of fried onion strings, sourdough bread, and shredded Mexican cheddar cheese and I'm about to freaking feast. Literally so much has happened since I talked to you guys last. It's now 10.30. I ate my dinner and it was incredible and then I actually recorded... Well, I had already recorded yesterday my reel about my banana bread, but I edited that. I think I'm gonna upload it tomorrow, but then my roommate Meg and I came in and we were like jokingly talking about TikTok because we have a podcast together, Love You Mean It, and we were like jokingly talking about TikTok and she bought these like mini karaoke mics they use on TikTok and we were like, ha ha ha, and then we were like, wait, let's like give her re record a tiktok and we did and so i'm gonna link it down below for you guys so you guys can go watch it and definitely go follow us it was so much fun we had a great time but right now it's 10 30 like i said and i'm actually gonna call my mom but then i'm gonna go to bed and i'll talk to you guys in the morning peace out 
Good morning, everybody. TGIF. I finally understand what it's like to work. Well, I guess I'm working like six days a week because I work three days a week at a coffee shop, three days a week interning from home, and I totally get now what it means for TGIF. Tomorrow is Saturday and it's my one day off. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I work at the coffee shop, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm interning. So I honestly like being really busy, and then I also started a TikTok. So like I said, I'll link it down below so you guys can follow me and I'll follow you guys back. It's currently Friday morning. I woke up and had a coffee and banana bread like I did earlier. And so I'm not gonna vlog me doing the exact same thing, but I will be showing you my outfit and then we're gonna get to work. This is my outfit. I th I'm pretty sure I thrifted this dress. It's super flattering because like, it's almost impossible to see, but it goes in a little bit. There's like a seam right here. So it goes in a little bit and then kind of does like that A-line. It's so nice i will say that this dress is super short because i think i shrunk it it looks shorter than it is like it goes below my butt and i'm not leaving so i also just wanted to quickly say that like just because i like to work from home in tight sweaters and like cute outfits doesn't mean that like you're any less of a person if you work from home and you wear sweatpants like this is just like what I like to do. This is what I would be wearing if I went into the office and it makes me feel more productive, put together and different than like my Sherpa sweatshirt. So I just wanted to say like, I hope I'm not making anybody feel like insecure if they're just like wearing leggings because like, like I wear leggings and sweatpants and sweatshirts the other four days of the week. It just makes me feel better about myself and I like it. Not even better about myself. I just like expressing my style or just like expressing myself through fashion, even though this is just tights and a dress. It just makes me happy. And so it's not me trying to flex like, even like my roommate was like girl like what are you doing like why are you getting so dressed up and like it just makes me feel really good so i just wanted to say that i hope i'm not making anybody feel bad but then i'm also just wearing black tights i'm obviously not gonna put on shoes because i'm working from right here i've been obsessed with just working at this ottoman and i can just look out the window and just i don't know it just makes you feel really happy i'm really excited though because as you guys saw yesterday i got an imac i'll do like an unboxing and setting it up vlog but that's not going to come until the end of december but that's my christmas and birthday present but obviously you guys know like i literally edit vlogs and i do my internship online currently i do so much online like also like web design for other people and we take zoom calls for my laptop and i edit the podcast and like do sponsorships and all of that and so it's just gonna make my life so much easier so excited but i also just wanted to say that i have this black sweater that i'm probably gonna throw over it because i do get a little cold in the morning and a lot warmer in the afternoon for some reason going to take the super long commute to my office Oh my god. Hi everybody, so it's currently 1.14 and I just heated up my lunch as you guys saw. It's right there, I'm about to eat it, but I just wanted to pop on and say hello. I'm currently taking my lunch break. I'm gonna eat this pasta, probably watch a Vlogmas video or two, and then get back to work. I've been doing so much work that I'm, I don't know, I'm just glad to get a little bit of a break and kind of refresh and then get back to it. I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday when yesterday I literally felt like so unmotivated and felt like I couldn't do anything. And today I'm just feeling like really positive and motivated, which is surprising because you can tell even behind me how close cloudy and like stormy it is. I am excited nonetheless so I'm gonna eat this and then get back to work and then I'll make my coffee again at like 3 30. I'm literally a creature of habit. Guys it's 3 40 and you know what that means? Another coffee! I literally have a problem, but I've been so busy today. Like, I feel like I've been nonstop. Like, the only time I stopped today or, like, slowed down at all was when I took my, like, I'd probably say, like, 30-minute lunch break. I'm gonna drink this coffee while I finish my work, and I can't wait to tell you guys in a little bit what I've been doing. Hi, everybody. So, it's currently 5 p.m., and I just logged off. I had a really good day. It was definitely a stark turnaround from yesterday when I felt so unproductive, so unmotivated. And I was just like messing around like all day. Obviously I got work done, but I just like wasn't feeling it. Like I was feeling my work, but I just like had no motivation to do anything. And I'm definitely feeling a lot better about it. Obviously I wrap up every single day talking about what I did today. Like I said yesterday, I had an assignment yesterday that I didn't finish. So I finished the rest of it today. I was basically doing another Instagram feed for a different division that they have. I did 15 posts, I think total, that they could post throughout the rest of December. So that's really exciting. I turned those in and so I had to make all the graphics and then I actually have started doing copy. So if you guys didn't know what it is, copy is just basically the caption. So I did all the captions, doing like a call to action in it, talking about like what the sale was or kind of what the post was all about stuff like that and that was really fun i feel like i have like a really good 
handle on like writing captions and she seemed to really like them i sent those into her that took up majority of my morning and then after my lunch break i think was when i started i did like the instagram highlight covers i made one for one of the clients that they have a different client than when i was working on this morning they're actually doing a giveaway with another client that they have that i haven't had to get like gotten the chance to work with yet but they're doing a giveaway and so i had to do a graphic that could go up on both accounts so i had to show the giveaway i had to have their logos on it all that stuff they only asked for one and i gave them three because i wanted to give them three different color options in case they didn't like them and so that was really cool and then I turned that in and then she messaged me and said if I had extra time would I be willing to start something else and so I hate like I feel bad when I like start things and I don't finish it but this one she definitely is not upset that I didn't finish it because it's not going up until January but basically she gave me a list of like another client that I've worked on in the past and gave me like a list of like 40 products that they have and basically I'm compiling a list of all different how-to videos and links that they can compile videos out of and post it to the Instagram. I only got like halfway through that but I had to close my laptop for the day because it's Friday and I'm so freaking tired. I'm not like actually tired you know but it's just like I worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Today is Friday and then tomorrow it's not even like a day off because tomorrow I have to record the podcast. I have a therapy appointment. I definitely will not be vlogging and I think I'm gonna make dinner now. I'm only making orange chicken and fried rice from Trader Joe's and I'll probably make it now even though I'm not like starving just because I know my roommate and her boyfriend are making chicken tikka masala for dinner which is like my favorite. They're making that for dinner and I want them to be able to have the kitchen and neither of them are here right now and so I'm gonna go make that so that I can get all my dinner ready and out of the way so that they can cook later. And at first she was a little apprehensive, but like, I mean, I understand too, because she, she, I'm like some literal stranger on the internet, like, hey, like, do you want to like Zoom call me and talk about <laughs> your private life? Like, I didn't even think about it like that. Hi everybody, so it's a little bit after 11 right now, and I'm coming on to end the vlog. As you guys saw, I made my dinner. I had orange chicken and veggie fried rice from Trader Joe's. Took a little clip of my roommate, Meg and I, who's also the co-host of my podcast, Love You Mean It, recording the intro to the episode about OnlyFans that's going up. It's already up at this point, so I'll link the episode down below for you guys. I'm gonna be spending all day tomorrow editing the episode. It's gonna take a very long time. We've recorded the intro, and then we just watched this movie called Poseidon. It was basically kind of like a modern day Titanic. It's like a rogue wave hits a cruise ship and it was very crazy and honestly pretty graphic i just wanted to come on and quickly end this vlog i really want to thank you guys for watching this video if you guys liked it definitely subscribe down below if you're new here and let me know if you're liking these nine to five work week in my life definitely give this video a like subscribe down below and let me know if you're liking them because obviously i want to keep doing them if you're liking them thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye